Hi, this is Dudley Toolwright, and welcome to my channel. This project will be an adapter plate for a CXA quick change tool holder. The CXA quick change tool holder's maximum capacity is three quarters of an inch, holds the cutters just fine, a little bit of overlap, but no problem other than minor overlap. A uh, 5 8 inch cutter fits easily within the holder and even supports a half inch cutter without any major issues and the adjustment screw still hits on the meat of the cutter without overlapping the edge. The problem arises, and thus my need for a tool, arises when you want to use 3 8 and especially quarter inch cutters. The quarter inch cutter, if pushed flush against the back, uh, will not have full contact with the, uh, the tightening screw. It will just catch the edge of the cutter, which I think is a really bad idea. Uh, optionally, you could shift the cutter, maybe with a shim, out towards the middle of this holder, but uh, I think I have a better solution. But before we get to that, let's jump over to the lathe and look at, lathe and look at some design considerations. So the purpose of any tool holders, these adjustable quick change ones, besides being able to swap out for multiple tools easily, is to be able to adjust whatever tool you're using so that it will land on center with the axis of your lathe. Um, if you don't, you'll have issues cutting. I mean, there are special situations where you don't go exactly on axis, but in general, you want to be right on the center of the cutting axis, which you can set using a live center. Um, there is a gentleman in Texas who shows a method for threading that involves running your lathe backwards and putting your cutter upside down. Uh, in this way, when you're finished with the thread cut, you're actually off the end of the part, which you know makes it a lot easier for cutting. Uh, it's a little bit more challenging to set up, but once you get used to it, I think it, it's a pretty good idea. Uh, check out his video. I'll put a link to it uh, in the description below. But back to this. With my, with my quick change tool holder, I notice that I, even with the adjustment screw all the way at the top, which is as far as you can go, I still cannot invert my cutter without a shim. Uh, it won't reach the center axis. It's a little bit below it. See if I put it on top and then drop here, drop down. So I couldn't do that without a shim. And I bring this up because I've used some KDK tool holders in the past that the adjustment screw range on them was much smaller than mine here. And if you use small tool bits in the holder, uh, you had a problem reaching the center axis of the lathe. So if you choose to make my adapter uh, make sure that you double check the dimensions of your holder and its range and make sure that cutters would still be able to get to the center axis of your lathe otherwise it won't be very useful to you. So my solution is a tool holder for the smaller bits that fit that fits inside the existing tool holder like so. So you would put the tool the cutter tool inside the holder, tighten the four set screws, then place the holder inside the CXA tool holder in my case and tighten the adjustment screws to hold it in place, the tightening screws. There are three of them. Uh, there are some constraints as to the thickness of the top and bottom parts. In my case, it's constrained by the size of the Allen set screws that I had they are exactly the width, uh, this thickness right here. If they were any longer, which you would think may be useful if you wanted to put a smaller bit without a shim in here, you'd need a longer Allen screw, set screw to reach it and hold it. But then when you put a 3 8 inch cutter in, that set screw would be sticking up and it wouldn't fit inside the tool holder. And I didn't want it sticking up even a little bit because when I tightened down the tightening screws on the tool holder, I didn't want there to be any chance of them pushing on the Allen screw rather than the meat of the holder. 
Another advantage of this tool holder is if you use the tool holder, you know, you want your tool to extend out, your cutter, in this case the quarter inch cutter, to extend out like sometimes you need to to reach where you're trying to get into. Uh, there's a lot of stick out for such a small cutter. Instead, with this tool holder, I can push the cutter back and shift the whole tool, the whole adapter out, and that'll give it more support and make a stiffer cutting solution. Um, I think it's a, a decent idea. It's not new. It's not original. Uh, I've, I've sort of followed what other people have done in the past, but uh, hopefully you'll find it interesting and useful. Also, the material I made this out of was an old tool holder that someone had modified rather severely and taken a ton of material off. And <laughs> it's sort of an interesting side note. So I was constrained by the, the material that I had. And so like the three quarter inch bit in the other tool holder, uh, this one overlaps a little bit. I don't think that's a big deal, but if you want to change the design so that yours overlaps completely and the cutter is contained within, I think that's a fine idea. Uh, while I was cutting this with, uh, with you know, out of the other material, this material is obviously hardenable because I ran the cutter speed a little bit high and I ended up case hardening the inside and outside most edges of the piece of this piece of metal. So when I went to drill and tap it, it was really challenging. So <laughs> proper feeds and speeds. Got to keep an eye on that or use coolant, which I didn't use. I was just using lubrication. Uh, it's kind of interesting. I've run across that in the past, didn't expect it, and it kind of caught me off guard because the drill bits were having a really tough time getting through the top and bottom edges. The middle was easy. Uh, also, if you decide to go with this, uh, you may want to change the length of this part to suit your holder. Your holders might be shorter or longer, and I wanted to at least catch three of the tightening screws. You might want to you know, hit three on yours or however many you feel is important. So change the width accordingly. Same with the height, of course, and the depth. Uh, the depth, again, if you want to catch the whole three-eighths inch bit uh, from its entirety. Anyways, that's my idea, and I hope you like it. I hope you find it useful. I didn't show the machining of this part because it was really basic dimensioning, facing, and drilling and tapping, which you've seen lots of times before. Uh, if you disagree, feel free to leave a comment. Let me know how you feel. In any case, I uh, appreciate your uh, watching as always and hope to see you next time. Thanks a lot.